welcome to my tutorial for Dark RP on Gmod. Dark RP is the most popular game mode for Gmod right now. And uh, it is, at first, it can be very complicated to play because it just doesn't tell you what to do. When I started Dark RP, I had no idea what I was doing. So I decided to make this. So when you first get in, you are going to be a citizen, and you're obviously going to want to change your job, and to do that, you press the F4 key, and all the job menus are different, but this one looks like this. Now, there's usually a category called citizens, criminals, and then gangs, and government. This one has different stuff, like mafia, druggies... And there's always going to be VIP and custom classes and staff. But since you just joined the server, you're probably not going to need any of those. So I'm just going to become just a thief. And uh, certain servers you'll respawn when you change jobs. Certain other servers you won't. You'll just stay there. Now, when you're a thief on this server, you get a keypad cracker and a lockpick. That will be where your special things are for each job. Like, certain jobs you'll get different tools there, like cops can have guns and arrest batons. And other jobs will have other things. Now, you're gonna first probably want to make some money, because I barely have any money. I only have 5,000 down here. And... I need to make more money because stuff is not cheap in this server. So, uh, you might, if you want to spend some money, you can go find a gun dealer. Let's see if there's any on. Oh, there's a gun dealer right there. Or you could just become a gun dealer and sell yourself some guns. Now, uh, the first thing you're probably going to do is build a base. And I have bought this space right here. In my opinion, this is a good starter base because it has uh, enough room to make defenses. And it's not too big, though. Now, there's multiple ways to make money. Printers are always there. And sometimes it can have bit miners, all that stuff. So, I am really poor, so all I can afford is... I can't even do bit miners because you need a generator. So, all I can do is get a printer. These printers look like you don't need to buy any cooling cells or stuff. Sometimes you'll have to buy stuff to cool it down and stuff to upgrade it and stuff for batteries. But these printers, you don't. Now first you're going to want to get started with some base defenses. And uh, I'll just build a simple little base design. If you didn't know, this prop is a one-way prop. That means with most materials, you can see through one side and they can't see through the other. See? There's other one-way things and I'll get to those later. Or in another episode. Alright, so you're just going to want to set up a little wall. And then you're going to want to find uh, the stacker tool. You're going to want to select it to left. It's not really that hard for the stacker. And then you're going to want to grab, I don't know, a fence. That's a little big. There. Now these one ways, sometimes you can shoot through them, some other times you can't. But these fences you can always shoot through, so if you're going to have these fences, make sure they are not uh, material you could see through, because you don't want to get shot. If you ever see a vote pop up on your screen like that, you can press F3. And then click yes or no. I pretty much always press yes. 
precision is another good tool to use. You can move stuff, you can do a bunch of stuff, and you could push and pull it. Usually I just use push and pull it. Oops. Also apply, that will straighten the prop out. Or you could use your physics gun, which as you can see isn't always that good. So right now, my base is not really legal. Because this thing, you can't, raiders can't get in. Well, they can get in through the garage, but they can't get in through here. So what you want to go, you're going to want to go to fading doors and just, I just like to make it some, uh, material, doesn't really matter. And, uh, I make it numpad zero. Make sure there's no sounds because they will get annoying. Oh, and make sure toggle active is not on. There, and then when it goes like that, you can walk through it. Now, it's still considered prop block, and, well, on some servers, yeah, you can lock pick fading doors on this server, but you still need to put a keypad. You're gonna want to make the access granted key the same one as your fading door, then you're gonna want to put one next to it, but you're going to have to do that on both sides. So I'll put one here. Actually, I'll put one outside. Basically, there. Now when people want to raid, they'll lockpick your door and then they have to lockpick that. Oh, and I almost forgot. You also want to go to the 3D, 2D text screen and put... A building sign because people will come and raid you but having this building sign here makes it so people can't even if they can clearly see that you're trying to build they will still try to raid you and I'm just gonna put this material on here and then I'm gonna set up two more fading doors and I'll be right back Alright, as you can see, I made the rest of the base, and also I just gotta block this off really quick. Just move this, because people can lockpick your garage and get in that way, and you probably not want to have them get in like that. So, as long as you have one entrance that they can get through, you can prop block all other entrances. So, you can see... If I press numpad 0, that one opens up, numpad 1, and numpad 2. So, the entrance is done. And now let's go upstairs and show you the other two one ways you can use. Now this one, I don't think I've ever used it. Basically, if you look on this side, it's like that, and if you go on the other side, it's completely invisible. It can be found in your spawn menu right here. I don't really like it that much, but if you want to use it, that's fine. This is one that I like, because it's black on this side, and if you go on the other side, boom, it's completely invisible. If you look here, there's actually two different things, and I'll show you how to make that right now. So basically you get anything from this general menu. I'll just use one of these. And uh, you put this there. Then you get out your tool gun, go to stacker, and you stack a prop to be on the other side of it. Right now that's up. And then you go to your color tool in this render mode. That's normally on normal. You gotta change that to world glow. Make sure this color is on white or whatever you want, but make sure this transparency is all the way up. And do that to the front prop that you want to be able to see through. Then go to material and pick this thing right here. And put that there. And now you've made a one way. And this is just a black material. It's right next to it. 
model was a render target, and boom, you made an invisible wall. Now, on some servers, this isn't allowed, but on most that I've been on, it is allowed. So now that you built your base, you want to go outside, and you want to go to your remover, or some servers you hold C and right click it, but for some reason you can't in this server. You go to your remover tool and you click your something. Now next you're gonna wanna make money, right? You go to your entities and you can get a printer now. I'm gonna buy a gold printer and it's one of these. All printers are different or at least most of them, and you can purchase a cooler there. You're always going to want a cooler. And just grab a random prop. I like this prop. Ooh. And you can just put your printer on top of it. Now, the server I'm on barely has any people on. It's about, well, it says right down there, 14. So, oh wow, the owner's on. But, yeah, you don't really have to worry about getting raided when there's little people on. But it's always a possibility. So, uh, here's another cool thing you can do. If you go to your camera tool, you can set that to something. I'm putting it in numpad 3. And you could set that outside of your base. Usually, people like to put it across, like this. And then you could colorize this if you get your invisibility thing put all the way down. Oh. And then you have to freeze it. And then, there. Now it's invisible. No one knows it. You're watching them. Which is pretty creepy. Alright, now... That is all you really need to know about making a base until my base video comes out. But uh, now I guess I can cover some other things about Dark RP. So uh, the first thing you should do to buy a gun, well that's probably one of the first things you should do. Now that I have money, I'm actually going to do it. So uh, sometimes gun dealers will give you ridiculous prices and ask if they have singles and shipments because sometimes they're either trying to scam you the guns are really expensive or they only sell shipments and if they say they only sell shipments they mean the server only has shipments and you can't buy singles don't think that you're just getting ripped off by them all right let's see KOS if not, oh jeez, it's a lot of KOSs. Alright. I honestly don't know. Can I buy a gun? Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, can you open the side so I can come in? Uh, yeah. Alright. What kind of gun do you want to buy? Uh, an assault rifle. Okay. What kind of? What type of assault rifles do you have? We have an AK-47, an AUG, a FAMAS, and a Galil. Uh, I'll have uh a do you want a shipment with that? Shipment? Or, uh, no shipment? How much is a shipment? Uh, what kind of gun do you want, though? A Galil. Oh, that's 80,000. Alright, I'll just have a single. That's expensive. Okay, geez. so that's 10,000. This guy does not know how to add. Where do I put it? In the slot over here. This guy? Oh. 10,000. Alright, 10,000 for a single gun. That is either guns are expensive or this is a huge scam. Um, what's the thing for these? So if a shipment has 10 guns, and he's saying a shipment's 80k, that means one gun should be 8,000. 
open the window. Oh, oh no, this guy stole. Can you check what the code is for hey, uh, in these doors for me? Okay. Oh, this guy. Hey, I got sure. my gun back. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how to put guns in your inventory. If they have an inventory down here or the inventory pickup thing, then it's good. Alright, so you can do slash in holst holster and that'll put your gun that you're holding in your inventory. Or if you don't want to do that, you can do slash drop. Take out your inventory pickup and click E on it. Or uh, click on it. So uh, that's going to be it for this episode of uh, How to Play Dark RP. And uh, stay tuned for the second episode where I will cover probably writing.